folding is a term that's used quite a bit in home baking and it's essential to be able to fold properly. For example, I'm just preparing an egg sponge mixture here where we fold in the flour. So it's important that you have a sieve and your three ounces, as is the case here, 75 grams of our self-raising flour. Now for folding, I like to fold half the mixture in at a time. Flour, as in the case of an egg sponge, but you would also, for example, fold in um, sugar if you're making a meringue or a pavlova in some cases. So having beaten the ingredients together, we're now going to fold. For folding, it's best to use a large metal spoon, even the, um, the whisk from your mixer, some instrument that has an edge on it. Some people like to use the scraper or the spatula because the whole idea of folding is, as you see here, you cut through the mixture, folding it over and over until you have your flour, as the case is here, blended into your ingredients. Now, there are two reasons why we fold. First of all, we, unfold, we fold to introduce air to the mixture, so it's important that we don't um, beat the daylights out of it to beat out the air. You simply fold to keep that air that we've beaten in through the mixture. And the folding also helps to get to keep the air in there so the cake rises beautifully for us. So now, there we have half the flour in. We're going to sieve in the second half. And it is important, by the way, that you fold, or sorry, that you sieve the flour through. Important that you sieve the flour through. So cut through. Now I find the larger the spoon you use, the quicker you get the folding done. Now make sure before you transfer your mixture to the prepared tin, always bring the mixture, as I'm going to do here, to one side of my bowl. So I first of all scoop the mixture from my spoon. I then bring the mixture with the spatula to one side of my mixing bowl, as you see there. And I just make sure that there are no loose pockets of flour down towards the bottom of the mixture. So again, even with the, sp the spatula, cut through the mixture. We're going to transfer that now to the Swiss roll tin. So just make sure that you have the paper fitted correctly with the corners overlapping. We now pour the mixture into the tin and that's just a basic three egg sponge with lots and lots of air beaten into the ingredients. So we just transfer from the bowl to the prepared tin. If I left that sitting long enough it would eventually find its own level in the tin. But in doing that, the air would be escaping. So it's important that you just gently spread the mixture so we get a nice even cake after baking. Get it into the oven as quickly as you possibly can. Now, before we put it into the oven, just tap the tin twice or three times on the board. That's to burst any air bubbles, as you see there. And by bursting them at this stage, you will get a much better textured sponge cake after baking. You won't have these large, ugly holes through the cake. So. Now we have our sponge ready for the oven.